going on, y'all? I'm Coach Gary Bradshaw here with Wish Shaw Sports. Thank you all for tuning in today. It's August 30th, uh, Monday, and you know what today is. Today is Football Monday, but first, we have to get into the Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley fight. Uh, last night, we've been hearing a lot of, uh, it's rigged, uh, you know, it's all staged. Y'all give us y'all interest right now. Please call the Wishaw Sports Hotline if you would like to tune in with us. But I'm just going to give my take. So the scores card was 77-75 Jake, 75-77 Woodley, and 78-74 Jake. In my opinion, um, Jake Paul did a, you know, great job controlling the fight. Uh, Woodley, he handled his own, but Woodley, you have to knock him out. If you don't TKO him, you're not going to win in the uh, split decision. I mean, he hasn't lo lost yet on a split decision, so you know you have to knock him out with the KO. But um, I feel like it's good for the sport of boxing. It's good for all YouTubers, celebrity influencers, and also it gives a chance for the UFC fighters to actually showcase their skills in boxing and not only being a grapple fighter or ground fighter. It actually showed, you know, how versatile those guys are. But uh, am I looking forward to the rematch? No, I'm not looking forward to the rematch at all. If uh, I'm hearing that, you know, will, will Woodley get the tattoo? I love Jake Paul. He probably will. I mean, who who else doesn't want a $2 million paycheck? You know, you can't deny it at this point. But uh, let's get into some football. Like I mentioned, it's Football Monday. Um, I'm your host, Coach Gary Bradshaw. And there's been a big debate around the rookies in the league. The rookies in the league have made, uh, uh, you know, a great case this preseason of why they should, you know, actually be starting. The first one I have right now that's been making, you know, a, a lot of, chaos right now is Cam Newton versus Mac Jones and uh, Cam Newton you know Heisman Trophy winner national champion done a great job I mean you know this far his career has been a little bit banged up Mac Jones you know rookie led Alabama to a national championship had a lot of other first rounders around him I'm not gonna lie guys I've been impressed by uh, Mac Jones this far and the reason why I would say I'm impressed because it looks similar to a Tom Brady. I mean, he's getting the ball out quick. He's making great reads. I mean, you don't have to really do too much in the Belichick offense. All you have to do is make the right reads and be consistent. As far as Cam Newton, uh, Cam, uh, I don't want to say this, but I have to say this. Cam Newton, you need to take a back seat this year, recover your body, rest, get healthy, get out of New England. New England has no weapons for you, bruh. They're going to... Literally, they're gonna zone read you to the left, zone read you to the right. You're gonna be isoing up the zone. Your, your body's never gonna heal up. Take this year off, get healthy, let Mac Jones command the team, lead his team. You can go somewhere, you know, somewhere else that needs a quarterback. And maybe, you know, you revamp your career. But as far as right now, I'm taking Mac Jones over Cam Newton. I know a lot of people are gonna be on me about that, but hey, it's with y'all sports. That's why we leave the hotline uh, number for y'all to come in and debate. Secondly, Jimmy G versus Trey Lance. Jimmy G is my guy. I've liked Jimmy G ever since he was with New England. I actually think Jimmy G uh, should have been the starter in New England, but Tom Brady got him shipped out of there like he did a you know, handful of other quarterbacks. But as far as Jimmy G goes, Trey Lance, he may be not ready. You know, he came from a smaller school, North Dakota State University, um, FCS powerhouse. But as far as him being on the stage, he just doesn't look good right now. Uh, he finished up uh, 19 for 41 in the preseason, 46% on passing. Come on, in the NFL, you have to be at least 60% for them to guarantee you, you know, something of worthy of, of a contract. But uh, I like Jimmy G winning that bat up, well, winning that matchup. If they, if not, I've been hearing a lot that it may be a split quarterback decision. I've never heard of the NFL, you know, going with two different quarterbacks rotating in and out. You definitely can't do that in the NFL. People's children, family are dependent on QB1, QB2. So I think they have to you know, solidify a starter right there. And number three, um, my favorite rookie quarterback of this rookie class, it's not Trey Lawrence, but Trey Lawrence did prove a lot last night against Dallas. My favorite rookie quarterback is going to be Zach Wilson, the fly guy 
at a BYU university. The kid can actually slang it. He looks comfortable in the pocket. He looks like he needs to be on Broadway or something like that, man. The kid is an actor. He's phenomenal. He's a star. Um, you know, his O-line, they're okay. They're a little bit banged up. But as far as his conference goes, I mean, he's in an open division, open conference. I mean, there's not many QB1s in that conference. He can come in and do great things immediately. Um, as far as uh, uh, preseason football, they need to scrap it. I mean, it does a good job for these guys helping the roster. But as far as long-term players getting hurt, we saw uh, Dobbins from the Baltimore Ravens. He tore his ACL. That was unfortunately. He was definitely my, for sure, first round draft pick for the fantasy this year. Uh, prayers up to him. Hopefully he gets healthy. But let's get into uh, uh, some more, you know, football. And uh, let's really talk about Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. These guys are always in consideration every year for championship, NFC championship. Um, what will they do this year? I actually, I... I don't think, you know, Dak Prescott is, is too far away from, you know, getting back healthy. I've been watching Hard Knocks. He's maybe about 80 to 90 percent healthy, but I would go with uh, the backup there in that situation just to let, you know, just to make sure that he's 110 percent healthy. There's no rush. Coming off a little shoulder injury, coming off an ankle injury, man, that was something serious. You should definitely take your time healing it. Um, but, you know, the competitor in him, he's trying to get back to the top. He's trying to get back, you know, making plays, doing that for his team. But I just do not think he's ready right now. Thank y'all for tuning in on today's episode at Wish Y'all Sports. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe to the channel. We would greatly appreciate the support. Also, tune in on tomorrow's episode as we will discuss more, more topics. If you or anyone you know would like to be featured on this show or call the show, please contact us at the hotline number below. Thank you.